State lawmakers are looking to cut property taxes. And some say at the cost of school funding. Here's Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Ashley Springman. She has more now. She was down at the legislature today. Ashley. Rod and Megan, today's Senate is meant to discuss whether this bill would benefit Nebraskans in the long run. We cannot break the back of agriculture in this state with property taxes. On Wednesday, the legislature met to discuss a proposed bill to lower property taxes by supporting public education through state funding rather than local taxation. This bill is a madly needed reset of how we fund our public schools. It will level things off, take the equity out of, of how we fund our schools. It will put stability into it and it maintains local control. According to Senator Groney, about 60 percent of property taxes goes towards education. He believes Nebraskans are in desperate need for property tax relief and will invest in education regardless. Take ag down to 55 and commercial and residential down to 87, which creates a $520 million for property tax relief. However, several representatives are concerned about what this will mean for our public education system. And so I look to the people outside of this glass window, our educators, our superintendents, and when they tell me that this bill is going to hurt our schools, I believe them. Because these are not people that are making a profit off of their work. They're barely making a living off of it. So when they tell me that this bill hurts them, that this hurts our children, this hurts our schools, I believe them. Senators and school officials worry there won't be enough state funding, leading to rural schools who already struggle to close. If we ultimately want to lower property tax, we need to be increasing our revenue across the state through income tax and through increased wages and, and job development. A hearing will be held next Wednesday at 1.30 to continue the discussion on the bill. And if you're unable to attend, we'll keep you updated on our website at klknTV.com. All right, now to our crime alert tonight. Several guns were